Welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I am Shutlike and this is the second game of the first qualifying round. It's Afonso the First of Congo versus Mamdesa of Brazil. Afonso the First is spiritual and creative. And the Congolese start with mysticism and hunting. Memdesa is expansive and protective, also starting with mysticism, but combines it with agriculture. This is the map, let's get the resource bubbles on. This is the starting position of Afonso I. He starts here in the forest. There is some fish here, there is uranium for later, there is also some marble and some silk. He starts on the starting continent in the west. This is kind of a weird Y-shaped continent. And the starting position of Memdesa is just across the water here, not so uh, far away. There are some cows there, there is a crab, there is coal, and we also see some copper over here. So this is going to be an interesting game. One of these will go through. Which one will it be? Let's find out, shall we? Let's start the game. There we go, off we go, and this is Afonso the first versus Mem de Sa in the first qualifying round. 30 uh, turns, 40 turns, they have one city each, Afonso in Buddhism, Mem de Sa in Hinduism, two cities each at the moment, 63, 65 turns. Three cities each, they are very good at expanding at the same rate. Afonso a little bit first with four city, Memdesa follows up again, and now they are meeting down there in the middle of the continent approximately with some cities, and Memdesa is first to go down south of the equator, I think. Approximately equator where they are, those two last cities then. Six cities each, seven cities Afonso now, turn one fifth, 43, and the Memdesa is cautious with Afonso, let's see what happens then. Afonso now a little bit weaker than Memdesa as well, eight cities each, now Memdesa is suddenly pleased. Even though they are different religions, nine cities Memdesa, ten cities Memdesa, Afonso is an eight. Turn 182, and it's 10 cities, Mamdesa. We could see, and there is a settle on that uh, island out there as well. They haven't reached a new world, but they are settling in the places where they can. There is no war yet, and there is another settle you see all the way to the east. He reached actually that one, and now it's the question, can he also reach the continent in the east there? I think he can, because he can sail through Afonso. If he wants to, tw 13 cities Memdesa, 10 cities Afonso, Memdesa is up to 14. He has taken most of the land down south in, on the starting continent, Memdesa. 14 cities and Afonso is weaker, 0. 0.6 the strength of Memdesa now for Afonso. And this looks like the Brazilian leader is the one that is getting ahead of the game here. He is on his way to astronomy now with 15 cities and now astronomy and he can sail into the new world but Afonso also can get over there I believe if you look at the main screen you see that there is cultural borders and he can sail with the ship and there we see a Brazilian ship and he just settled the city right there on the screen trying to cut Afonso off from the rest of the new world and now he is settling more cities there but there Afonso also got one over there 18 cities now Memdesa 11 for Afonso we are at turn 280 Memdesa is getting the printing press going for democracy Afonso is getting on to nationalism 13 cities now for Afonso 19 Mem 20 cities now, ma'am. Afonso is only 0.5 the strength of Memdesa. Memdesa is getting gunpowder. Afonso, education and scientific matter for Mem. 14 cities, Afonso. 20 cities, Memdesa. Turn 3. 100 is here almost now. There it is, 20 cities ma'am and 14 Afonso. It is a race to settle the new world. It is a race to grow in becoming the biggest. Afonso now is going for constitution. Also in the golden age, by the way, 15 cities, but Memdesa with 23, and Afonso is a lot weaker than Memdesa, it's down to 0.6 the strength, and Memdesa gets replaceable parts, and he goes for rifling, and that means that Afonso will have big problems if Memdesa decides to go to war here, but 25 cities, ma'am, 18 cities, Afonso, this looks like 
a decisive advantage to me because Mem the Saw is looking like he may be onto something with better tech as well. 26, 27 it is now Mem, 21 for Afonso. It's still possible for the Congolese leader. We could try to go culture or something like that. Uh, he hasn't done it yet, but who knows? Two turns away from military science. 21 cities. Uh, there have been no wars, but Afonso is down to point four. The strength of Mem de Saar now. 27 cities for Mem, 21 for Afonso. Mem de Saar is now down to cautious, which is a dangerous thing for Afonso to see, especially since Mem is going assembly line as well. Afonso is now getting communism soon, but he's going culture. Afonso is going culture. Afonso has turned on the cultural slider. Is it early enough? Can he get it? Turn 354 now, Afonso the first of Congo is trying to go culture while Mem de Sa is the strongest leader. This is not, and there is the war, there is the war, Mem de Sa saw what was happening. He looked at Afonso and saw that he was trying to win culture, so now he attacks, trying to win his domination victory before Afonso cities can get there. Afonso is now suddenly down to 20 cities, I think he had 22 for a moment there. Mem de Sa going electricity. And he is five times as strong as Afonso, 29 cities to 20. Afonso is trying go, to go for military tradition. Well, he's not trying to go for military tradition. He is trying to go for culture. He is uh, getting 3,000 culture per turn, 80 or 90% on the cultural slider, but now suddenly down to 17 cities. I looked over on the slider for a moment and now he has turned off the slider. Afonso has turned off the slider. He's going for steel instead. Mem de Sat, 32 cities to Afonso, 17. This could be the thing that Mem de Sa is going to win domination now. 17 cities left for Afonso. He was trying for culture. He is no longer trying for culture. Maybe he lost one of his cultural cities then. That is probably what happened, down to 15 now. Mem de Sa, he is looking like a strong leader here. He has units all over the map and 14 cities left, 13 cities left, 12 cities left for Afonso. I can just count down, I can do a countdown for Afonso. Uh, so fast is Mem de Sa taking cities, turn 388, 12 cities left for Afonso. When he gets rifling and he does that there and he's up to 13 cities again, but 13 cities versus Mem de Sa's 37. That is not a good place to be for Afonso. Mem de Sa looks like he has taken this game where he wants it. 12 cities left for Afonso, going towards steam power, but he's only 0.2 the strength of Mem de Sa, and he has 12 cities left, and Mem de Sa must be close to domination by now. He must take just a few more cities, and I think he may have it, because it doesn't look that much land left in the Congolese cultural borders here. There must be some water as well, maybe he has enough, maybe Mem de Sa needs to take two or three more cities, but I doubt that that will be a problem, because he is five times as strong as Afonso, 38 cities now for Mem, he is getting artillery, Afonso is trying to go for steam power, still he hasn't gotten it yet, and he has stopped going culture, he's down to 11 cities now, 39 for Mem de Sa, turn 404, so 39 to 11. Mem de Sa, he is going to get it. It's only a matter of time. Turn 405 and 11 cities left still for Afonso. He is defending his cities, but he is not going to get it. He's not going to get any victories here unless he can stabilize. But Mem de Sa doesn't seem to want to sign peace at all. 10 cities now left for Afonso. He's down to 10 cities. He, Mem de Sa, took one city up in the north in the middle of the map there. That is a lot of land tiles. And 9 cities now. 9 cities left for Afonso. We are close to domination now, Mem de Sa. How many turns left? Turn 413. 8 cities for Afonso. Surely this is it. Surely this is it when the borders expand for Mem de Sa now. This must be it. 7 cities left. The cities are dropping so fast and there it is. Mem de Sa has impressed me militarily in this game and he deserves to go through to the second qualifying round and if he can get through to the first round proper I think that there may be some league leaders that may shake in their um, 
well, something at least, because this was a very good performance by Memdesa. 43 cities to 7 and he wins a domination turn 416 in 1996. Congratulations to Mem de Sa for advancing to the next round. There was only one war in this game, Mem de Sa declared that one. He did win 16 to nothing in city captures and it was all done in just 59 turns. That kind of efficiency is something a lot of the league leaders must envy him and I think that they will fear him should he also reach the first round proper but he still has the second qualifying round to go through of course. Let's go take a look at the statistics. Exit and here we see the graphs. The score Memdesa is the orange yellow one and then Afonso is the white. GNP production food power culture that was Afonso until he started losing his cultural cities here and that is when he stopped going for culture because Memdesa took the right cities away from him. If Memdesa had taken his non-cultural cities then Afonso could actually have won this game. Graf demographics then? Afonso's numbers here to the left, um, Memdesa's number here to the right, 55.7, almost 55.8 million people. Let's go to the top six cities and wonders, and here we actually have to scroll down to the bottom to see that there are four wonders in the BC era. Top, Memdesa, Rio de Janeiro, 21 pops. Fortaleza 20 and we see Afonso's best city is number 3 uh, and then we have Memdesa with the 4th, 5th and the 6th cities. Statistics then, 
Afonso built 22 cities, 5 religions, 1 golden age, currently on 15 workshops, 7 towns and 6 windmills. In his cities he built 21 granaries, 19 lighthouses and 13 harbors and 2 Taoist temples there. Let's go page down and a lot of uh, wonders and stuff here. You can see page down again to see that the last item is the great library completing this list of everything that he did uh, build. Let's go to the top and look at his current unit. Units then, 19 riflemen, 6 grenadiers and pombos, and then also an airship down there. He did train a total of 32 pombos, 31 galleys and archers, down to 3 spearmen. Let's go page down and see that there is an airship at the bottom of that list as well. Kills 14 uh, Prashin, Prashinhas, 7 cavalry, 4 privateers and 1 tank. The losses were 36 riflemen, 25 grenadiers and pombos, and then also one Hindu missionary. So let's take a look at Mem the SAS numbers then. He built 28 cities, 2 religions, founded 2 golden ages, currently on 63 windmills, 61 towns, 43 workshops. In his cities he did build 34 barracks, 31 fazendas and 30 lighthouses, down to 4 observatories. Let's go page down and see page 2 and there is the Temple of Artemis at the bottom. Go to the top and look at his current units then, 136 Prashinyas, 41 workers, 33 marines down to one workboat. He trained a total of 45 workers, 43 longbowmen, 35 honor guards, 6 warriors, page down to see a great spy at the bottom of the list, the kills. 36 riflemen, 25 grenadiers and pombos, and one Hindu missionary, and the losses confirmed to be 14 Prashinya, 7 cavalry, and 4 privateers, down to 1 tank. Congratulations, Memdesa, with the victory. Let's go take a look at the victory condition screen. Here we are looking at Memdesa exactly on 74% of the land area, 87% of the population. He also were closest to culture. It doesn't look like any of the cities he had left. Uh, Afonso did have uh, much culture in them. Memdesa built the Apostolic Palace as well. So let's go take a look at the cities. Afonso has seven cities left. Let's take a look at those first short by population. Yeah, we see the founding date. They are all late game. 1270 AD is actually the earliest city he has left, uh, 16 pops, then Kabasa 15, and then we see here they are very unhealthy and they are shrinking, they are building only military units, ship of line and a galleon included of course. Let's go take a look at the cities of Memdesa then, let's change over here to Memdesa of the Brazilian Empire, okay, he has 43 of them, so let's quickly go in here and sort by population, make sure we are at the top, we are. Rio de Janeiro, 21, Manaus and Fortaleza, 20, with Porto Alegre, Brasilia, 19, and we see the list goes on. They are relatively happy with a few exceptions, they are healthy with some more exceptions, decent food, uh, some are shrinking, but that is probably temporarily, um, we see, well, a few of them are trying to build culture, but... Uh, with uh, not much there. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, production Apollo program is being built. Rock and roll is being built. And we see the stuff for Sao Vicente. Uh, nine is the lowest one. Let's go to the bottom. Nine is Sao Vicente. Some from Bata and down are the cities on the page two of the list. This was it. Congratulations, Mem the Saw, with going through to the second qualifying round. And this was the second game of today. There is, um, there are two more games tomorrow. Uh, the first one, Agwe Bana of the Arawak versus Yaya of Yemen. And uh, I hope to see you back then. I am shot like uh, this has been the Noble Leaders Cup. I hope to see you back tomorrow for some more interesting non-league action.